Hello, and welcome to our 12 days of holiday nail art featuring designs from me, Talia, at Talia's Nail Tales, and from me, Sarah, from Sarah's Nail Secrets. For the next 12 days, we'll be sharing with you 12 different themes of nail art for this time of year. Talia is a gel tech, and Sarah is an acrylic tech, so you will get a special gift of watching two different techniques for each theme. If you recreate any of these designs, please use the hashtag Secret Nail Tales on social media so we can check them out. We hope you enjoyed this gift from us, and let's get started. To start this set, I already removed her old design to do this color change. I prepped her nails and added a thin layer of clear acrylic. If you want to see my prep steps, check out my acrylic nail tutorial playlist for lots of videos of me doing that. So all these nails are a little bit different, but I made both hands the same to start. So I'm working on a candy cane nail here since this set is candy cane inspired. I'm using Christina from Glow and Glitz. This is a bright Christmas red and my Ugly Duckling number 10 brush to create the first candy cane stripe. I'm just using the tip of my brush to create the line that separates the color. This line doesn't have to be super perfect as it'll be covered with the gold stripe when I'm done, so do your best but don't stress over it. I leave that to dry and I move on to the next nail. This will be a gold holographic mix I mixed myself, but I'll try to find an alternative to put in the description box, so make sure to check there for all products used. For the white in this set, I'm using Glam and Glitz White Glaze. This has a shimmery gold hue to it. It's so pretty and perfect for Christmas nails. I apply a generous amount near the cuticle and push it up towards the cuticle while avoiding the skin and I gently pat and pull it down the nail. I'm doing this on four of the nails. Glam and Glitz is best work with wetter. These are really high pigment and that's why this color can cover all the old color that's underneath. Now that the ring finger has dried, I'm applying white glaze as the next candy cane stripe. I apply it the same way and cut it with my brush to make the line. Now that the pinky has dried a bit, I'm going back and adding some dots from Glitter Heaven Australia's Christmas collection. Now I go back and add more red to the candy cane nails. Applying it like before, cutting the line with my brush. This seems really tedious, but it's worth it in the end to get a nice crisp candy cane look. On the pointer finger, which has white glaze on it, I'm adding the Christmas dots and Jack Frost from NV brand. This is from Arts Desire all over the nail. Sort of like confetti nails or like candy cane nails, crushed candy cane look. And I'm adding some white dots that also shine iridescent. I have no clue where I picked these up from, but if I find an alternative, I'll link it below. After that, on both hands, the red is dry and I've applied more white to my candy cane nail. Moving on to the thumb, I'm doing a color blocking design, adding the confetti look like the middle finger on the top of the hand. In the middle of this nail, I'm adding a gold stripe and we'll add some clear over top of that so that the line can be nice and straight and not grainy. Then I add more white glaze on the bottom. So here's how both hands look before they are capped in clear acrylic. So now I'll be capping all these nails in clear using my number 10 Ugly Duckling brush still. I apply it close to the cuticle and push the product up with the tip of my brush and then gently drag and pull the acrylic down the nail, creating an apex and covering the full nail. I do this on all 10 fingers and this is how they look before they are filed. And I filed off camera. Check my acrylic tutorial playlist for more finish filing techniques and here's them after. To decorate these nails, I'm using Light Elegance Buttercreams in Real Gold and the Stripey Brush. This one is from Selena Ryden Signature Series Brush Set. This brush makes awesome straight lines. For the pinkies, I added some small 3D candy canes using my Ugly Duckling 3D Art Brush and the same color white glaze. 
These are seriously so easy to do. Basically, use your brush and the point of your brush to kind of draw the design on, but it's 3D, so you just need to pat it into place and add a little bit more on top to make it come off the nail like a 3D candy cane. Super easy, give it a shot. Even if you think you're not good at 3D, you can't screw these up. I guarantee it. For the candy cane stripes, when these are dry, I'm applying some tiny mini stripes with the Light Elegance Real Red Buttercream. For the middle finger, I'm mixing red and white crystals to make it into the shape of a candy cane. After all the nails have been decorated, I apply a clear top coat. This is Jelly Fit Australia's non-wipe top coat all over all of them, but don't get it on the crystals and give it a full cure. And here is the finished result. I hope you guys like this design. Don't forget to check out Talia's at Talia's Nail Tales. I will link her right here in the top corner and I will link her in the description box. So check out her design as this was a full collaboration between the both of us and we're doing this for 12 days this month. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your nails long and your glitter strong.